sleep through the night. Uh, it did get quite cold last night and I ended up waking up several times and had to put on more clothes and now I'm wearing several t-shirts, a hoodie, a jacket, this raincoat, I've got a hat on still and I've also got shorts on over my jeans so that's a, that's a strong look. Um, I also inflated my air mattress during the night and put that into the hammock because I thought that that might help with the temperature. The backside of my body basically was very cold all night so putting the air mattress in there was one way I tried to address that. I'm glad to see that the sun is now making an appearance over this hill behind me and the hill that I'm on is slowly getting covered in sunlight. So I'm just going to make some coffee here, have something to eat, maybe take a look at a map and then I'll probably head towards the northernmost point of the island. I'm on the north of Ibiza at the moment but not at the very uh, northern point and then once I've gotten there I will head down uh, the west side of the island. <laughs> through uh, yesterday evening or late afternoon um, I think it's called Keller St Vincent and everything seems to be close I was hoping to resupply get some water get some food but no shops seem to be open so I'm going to sort of head um, northwest and hopefully I will come across the town at some point where I'll be able to buy some things to eat So this is the hilliest bit of Ibiza that I've seen so far. So I'm still in the north and I'm heading west. And I saw on the map that this road is very winding for quite some time. So I know there's going to be a fair bit of climbing and descending today, at least at the start. Um, I know though that the highest peak in Ibiza is only 450 meters and that's in the south. So even though I'm climbing at the moment, I know that that's I'm not going to be climbing for too much longer. to find a small shop in a town called St. Joan and I'll just show you what I got. So we've got some water, some bread, two packets of crisps, um, some spaghetti so I'll cook that at some point today. I've got some pasta sauce, 
two jars of pasta sauce. And finally, actually there's a few more things. I've got two bars of chocolates. And I've got two bags of cheese. And so this is from a small supermarket, so it's probably a little bit more expensive than a bigger place. Um, and it came to about 20 euros in total. So we just finished up with my lunch. Um, I was thinking I was going to miss the miss out the northernmost point of the island, but it's actually not that far. It's like seven kilometers north of here. So I'm going to head up there now, check out what there is to see. I think it's just a, a lighthouse and maybe a little town or something. So we're going to head up there, then head back down, and then start making my way down the western coast of Ibiza. So I can see the lighthouse now. It's somewhere up there. I'm not sure whether I can find it in the screen. Um, it's up there somewhere. Um, but the path that leads there is a bit ridiculous. Well, it's fine for for people on foot, but um, it's actually listed on this little sign here as a as a suitable route for bikes. But if I show you the path. So this is the path they're suggesting. Yeah, and I'm not sure, I'm not sure how I feel about trying to take my loaded bike up this path right now. Considering that the... I'm walking up it now, obviously it's, it's fine to walk on. But with a bike it's a different story. But yeah, the lighthouse. It's um, apparently just over a kilometre away. But I think, looking at the map, if I head back into town, then there will be kind of like a road or a track, like a proper track that I can actually ride on. That will take me most of the way to the lighthouse, so I think I'm going to try to find that track and take that instead of this path. just come across a sign that is pointing to the lighthouse and it is pointing down this little track here and this track compared to the other path that I was looking at looks pretty decent and I think this way might be a little bit more interesting than the road so I'm going to take a look and see what's down here So the track deteriorated pretty quickly. Uh, it's probably not much better than that path I was looking at now. Um, so I'm just taking it nice and slow because I don't want to 
break anything on my bike and be stuck up here on the northern side of the island. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep on cruising along this path slowly, <laughs> trying to film this with one hand. Um, but I should be getting close to the lighthouse. I think I'm probably less than a kilometer away, so shouldn't have too much more of this uh, track to contend with. I just realized there is no road that leads here and the track I took is in fact the best way of getting here so I'm gonna have to redo that track all again and then hopefully I will get to a road within about 20 minutes or so and then I can finally start making my way down the west coast of Ibiza. So I'm back on the road after a while on that track and this road is going to take me to the town where I resupplied probably a couple of hours ago now so <laughs> I haven't really made any progress south uh, in a couple of hours um, and it actually means that when I get to the town which is about seven kilometers away and mostly uphill when I get there I will only be about 10 kilometers from where I woke up this morning and I've been moving for maybe four hours or something so <laughs> my rate of progress is pretty slow today but yeah I still have a two or three more hours at least of cycling today so hopefully I can make some decent progress heading down the coast later on. So I'm back at the, in the town and uh, back outside the shop where I stocked up earlier. I was hoping to get some water here, but I've just remembered that in Spain, in lots of the small towns, they have a siesta in the afternoon. I've been living in Spain about two years and I'm still just getting used to this uh, practice. So <laughs> it's only just occurred to me when I came back into the town that the shop might be closed. So I'm hoping there's gonna be a petrol station or something further down the road where I'll be able to get some water. Just find a petrol station because I've got some water, got some wine for tonight. And so now, the plan is just to head towards the west coast, get as far as I can before the sunset, and then try to find somewhere to sleep. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so it's late afternoon now, and I just identified on a, a place on the map called Cala Albaca, so it'd be some sort of cove, and it seems to be in uh, a sort of foresty area. So I'm hoping that I, if I head there, I'll be able to duck off of whatever track I'm on into the forest at some point, and then find somewhere to make some dinner and to set up for the night. another track through the woods um, lots of places to potentially sleep there's a few houses around so I just want to make sure I'm not too close to any houses because I'm not really supposed to be sleeping in the forest um, but apparently I'm just a few hundred meters from that cove so I'm just going to continue down this track for a bit and maybe see if I can see the cove and then try to find somewhere to spend the night. Kind of see the cove now and um, I'm now on a very steep and rocky track that I hope is going to take me there I don't really know this this track isn't on the map but it seems like there are only so many places this track could go so I'm going to continue following this for a while and hopefully I'll be down near the cove at some point soon <laughs> So all of the ground around here is obviously very steep so I found it tricky to find somewhere to, to spend the night but I suddenly came across a sort of small flat area and I've come down to inspect it and there's actually the remains of a an old uh, stone building here. I'm not sure whether you can see it because it's getting pretty dark now. I think the sun's going to set probably within about 30 minutes. Um, I would like to continue down to the beach but as I say it's getting dark and honestly I don't even know how much further it is. It still feels like I'm quite high up so I think this is going to have to do for tonight. I'm not sure where exactly I'm going to set up, whether I'm going to sleep in the hammock, whether I'm just going to sleep on the floor. But yeah, I think I'll spend the night here and then uh, maybe investigate the beach in the morning. Hey, so I uh, sort of got set up in this little uh, stone building thing I found. Sorry, you can't really see it at the moment. Um, I will record it again in the morning so that you're able to see roughly where I am. Basically just the ruins of some old, old stone building. Uh, so I've set up my hammock outside. I was thinking about setting it up on one of these branches above. I'm not sure whether you can see them, but I'm not too sure how strong these branches are. So I found a tree instead and set up there. Uh, I basically put on all of my clothes because I was pretty cold last night. And hopefully by wearing all my clothes, I won't have to get up. Um, well, I won't wake up so often uh, tonight because, because of the cold. I currently have some spaghetti boiling, um, so looking forward to getting stuck into that soon. Just gonna put that with some pasta sauce. So yeah, just gonna eat that dinner, have some wine, and then go to bed. So 
I'll see you in the morning and I will give you a better look around when the sun has come back. I just hope we could stay together We wait and see But the chances are small just like the lottery